What's up? I'm Austin from Rise Tremaine, and you're watching Eric live on the air. Yep, this is our first US tour. Um, we were going to come out uh, with Machine Head, but unfortunately we had to pull out of that. So this makes it uh, our first US venture. It's, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool so far. So what do you think of it? I mean, is it, is it kind of what you had hoped and, and dreamed, I guess you could say? I absolutely love it. You know, like Warp Tour has been a massive, massive... Um, well, it's, it's, it's probably the biggest alternative music festival in the entire United States, you know, especially for traveling ones. So being over in the UK and hearing about it and then being invited to become a part of it for a year is, is a massive deal to us. And we've loved every single second. You know, the audience, the fans have been great. Um, you know, we've just seen a big surge and a swell in, in the numbers that we've been attracting. You know, I mean, today we played to like damn near 800 people, a thousand people on the monster stage and it was, it was mental. It was really, really cool. We had a great time. Um, did you just say it was mental? I did say it was mental. The only time I've ever heard that, and I'm going to sound like such a geek, is in an interview with somebody from Harry Potter. I think, really? I think it was like Emma Watson or something. That was like it was just mental. Emma Watson said, "Oh she, man, she's fit. She can say whatever she likes." <laughs> Wait, what did you say? She's fit? Yeah, she's fit. What that's another you? word. Fit is like that's she's basically not saying it. someone's hot, but you know, like nicely trimmed. It's fit. You know, like okay. So Emma Watson's taken over there too, not just here. Uh, oh yeah, she's she's uh, she's fit everywhere. She is. She's like worldwide, global, fucking amazing. <laughs> like, yeah, that's her. That's her down to a T. So Descri Harry descriptive paragraph. That would be it. <laughs> so is Harry Potter as big a success over there as they say then? Uh, yeah, I still ain't seen like half of them, but um, you yes. Seen them? No, I stopped watching them. Like I just. Did you read the books? I uh, no. I'm illiterate. I couldn't read if I tried. I. I'm on tour, mate. <laughs> well, that's when you're supposed to have the time. Late at night when you're trying to fall asleep, crack open some Harry Potter. Yeah, there's other things you can crack open. <laughs> Especially on this tour, but yeah. yeah I'm sure. None of that, none of that. You know, it's not for the camera. Yeah, you don't do that. <laughs> we obviously knew that you get told when you're playing pretty much every day. You know, it's, it's very spirit of the moment, but at the same time, that keeps everyone connected for the same kind of common reason you know you're all in it to make the show work you're in it to make sure everything goes smoothly and above all to make sure that everyone enjoys themselves that comes to the show so all of those things in mind coupled with the way that this festival works kind of unites everyone almost and I think that that's a really cool and very rare thing to have happen at a festival um, you know I mean there's there's tons of festivals around where you speak to maybe, you know, as a band hanging out, maybe you hang out with about 30 of the bands that are playing and the rest of them you don't get to speak to for whatever reason because they're either too busy or they don't want to come out or, you know, they're spending the rest of the time in their trailer until their stage time. You know, that's not like this on this tour. It's so different. Everyone's hanging out. Everyone's having a great time. And, you know, we did kind of get told that before we came out and to come out here and have that come true and more importantly be able to hang with people that we we respect and really look up to um, is is wonderful you know it's it's a real privilege to be part of this and on this band you know i'm taking notes you know most days there's still a ton of bands absolutely killing it schooling us and you know i think we've got something maybe to impart to them so you know being part of this tour is really productive you know you just learn new things every day because if you're not having a good time i'm going to climb into the crowd and i will do something that will either make you laugh cry or head down and that's a fucking promise and you know, it's, it's, well, it's the same ethos that we've had you know all of us you know if, if there's a side of the crowd that's quieter than the other Ben our guitarist or me ben, ben, Ben's been like jumping off the stage into the crowd getting out starting to circle a bit around him and doing like crazy solos and stuff like that wow. and it's all about just getting people riled up you know that's that's why they've come in you know they haven't come in to stand still they could do that on their own bloody watch and I'm sure they do I do you know but when I'm on tour and when they come out to a show on the tour, they want to have fun, and that's exactly what we aim to give them, is a good time, you know, good fun, um, 
and some happy memories, I guess. You know, walking away from a show that you'll remember from, for some time. Soon we come back and stomp that memory out and start a whole new one. Yeah. All right, I want to. I want to try this. I, I saw this one time in in again in the Harry Potter interview. They had them try. You're not going to get me to kiss a toad or like suck a wand or anything like I that. I don't want you to suck a wand or kiss a toad. <laughs> cool. Any of those things. Is Emma Watson here? No, Emma Watson is not here. I don't have her in the back <laughs> waiting for you. Um, I want you to try and speak, like, without your accent. Say, uh, say winning without your accent. Winning. Hi there. Do you have any non-dairy creamer? <laughs> Where did you hear that? It's fucking sound bug, isn't it? Um, yeah, right? Um, what's my frame of reference gone? I'm trying. More Morgan Freeman. Can you do a Morgan? Fre- can you do a Morgan Freeman impression? Oh God, no. Go on, do a Morgan Freeman. Do a Morgan Freeman impression. I'm trying, to, trying to think what he sounds like. Just think of a picture of his face. I'm picturing his face. I have no idea. I'm so bad at, at, at interpreting. At, at, at I'm to do it. Morgan Freeman. That was that was not even close. I know that. <laughs> I'm, that, that's probably, that was just, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm Morgan Freeman. You could do it. You could do it. I guess like uh, Morgan Freeman's well. He, he talks in like a deep voice, but it's like such a, it's like James Earl Jones. Hi. Style. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Come into my bat cave. <laughs> um. You can say a whole bunch of fucked up stuff. Anyway, I'm done with these accents, man. I suck. Oh, I you, suck. That's what's established. I just have one other one that I just thought of. What, what is it? Can you say that bitch is a grenade? That bitch is a grenade. Alright, no, I'm saying in an American accent. No. Like, you've ever watched Jersey Shore? That bitch is a grenade. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll take it. Um, the last you're gonna have to, that's the best I can that's do. That's fine, <laughs> Did you, have you ever watched Jersey Shore? Because you're um, in Jersey, so... It's I've, I've never watched the Jersey Shore. Um, just out of fear that I'd fucking lose a ton of respect for humanity. He's just like, I'm not into that show at all. Okay. It's so bad. I know. It's so fucking bad. It's so It's a train wreck that you have to watch. I caught Storage Wars once and I wanted to die, so... If Storage Wars makes me want to like kill myself, then I'm thinking and I Jersey, Jersey, Jersey Shore, Shore is actually going to make you jump. Yeah, it's like it's going to be the straw that breaks the camel's back, you know. And the last thing is, uh, you guys in the future, what 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 should we be seeing with you? Um, a lot more of the same, you know. We're going to be stor- we're going to be storing, we're going to be touring. Are you okay? Um, yeah, brain melting. Uh, we're going to be touring. Uh, we're going to be doing a whole bunch more shows out here. Uh, new album, hopefully next year. You know, new tracks are out now. Um, so yeah, come say hi, we'll be hanging. Alright man, thanks for your time. No problem, thank you for having me. Cats or dogs? Dogs, because it would, you would know, just go to sleep afterwards. Hot or cold? Hot. Monster or Red Bull? <laughs> Monster. Cute or sexy? Uh, sexy. Baseball or basketball? Basketball. Okay. Chocolate or vanilla? Vanilla. Piercings or tattoos? Um, tattoos. Dunkin' or Starbucks? Starbucks. One night stands or relationships? <laughs> relationships. Batman or Spider Man? <laughs> um, Spider Man. Salty or sweet? Uh, salty. Hamburgers or hot dogs? <laughs> Hamburger. <laughs> uh. <laughs> TV or movies? TV. <laughs> You're having a blast. No, 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 wait. Movies, movies, movies. Blondes or brunettes? Uh, brunettes. Goth or punk? Um, punk. Backstreet Boys or NSYNC? Backstreet Boys. Clubs or bars? Clubs or bars? Uh, bars. Uh, Haley Williams or Cassidy Pope? Uh, Haley Williams. Boxers or briefs? Boxes. And vans or converse? Vans. <laughs> <laughs>